Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering the Sony PlayStation 2. Now the emulator we're gonna be using is called PCSX2. It's really easy to set up, but it does require some decent hardware to run the games at full speed. Now the first thing you're obviously gonna need are some PlayStation 2 games. I have a few here on my desktop in a folder called Sony PlayStation 2. They are disk image files, ISOs. The next thing you'll need are the PS2 BIOSes. Most of my games are actually PAL, so I'm going to be using the European version, but there's a few BIOSes that you can choose from. With the games and the BIOSes out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we can do is open up LaunchBox. We're going to head to Tools, Manage Emulators, and we're going to add an emulator. From the drop down menu on emulator name, we're going to choose PC SX2. If you click on this link, it'll open up a browser window and redirect us to the PC SX2 download page. From here, we're going to click on Windows. And we actually want the binary. We do not want the standalone installer. We want to be able to place this in our LaunchBox directory so it's portable. We'll click Download. We can go ahead and close our browser down. So now that we have the binary downloaded, we're going to open up a file explorer. And I'm going to head over to my LaunchBox directory. I actually switched over to a new 3 terabyte drive for my LaunchBox build. Right in here, we have our PCSX2 binary. This might be in your downloads folder. You'll just have to find it. We're going to right click and extract. We're going to open this up. And inside of here, we have a PC SX2 1.4.1. This might be higher in the future. Open it up. Inside of this folder, I'm going to create a BIOS folder. So I'll right click, New, Folder, and I'm going to name it BIOS. I will snap this over to the side. And I'm going to go to my desktop and find my BIOSes. I'm just going to take all of these and put them right in my newly created BIOS folder. We're gonna back up. Now we need to configure the PC SX2 emulator before we even get started in LaunchBox. We're gonna launch the application. Choose your language from here, default is English. Click Next. There's a lot of configuration that you can do, but I find with my system, it works great out of the box, leaving everything stock. This video is not going to dive too deep into configuring PC SX2 to run perfectly on your PC, but I'm going to show you how to get around a few issues that you might incur. Next. When you created that BIOS folder, it should automatically detect it. Like I mentioned, I'm using a lot of PAL games. I'm just going to choose the European version of the BIOS. You can choose the Japanese or the US if you'd like to. Click Finish. Now we're ready to configure our controls in the PlayStation 2 emulator. We're going to go to Config, Controllers, Plugin Settings. I'm using an Xbox One controller and it's already set up out of the box for the PlayStation 2 emulator. We're going to go to Pad 1. If you're using a different controller, you may need to configure this and it's really easy to do. You're just going to click on Square and choose the Square button on your controller or whatever button you want to be Square. But since I'm using an Xbox One controller, it's already pre-set up, ready to go. Now we're going to go to Config, Video, Plugin Settings. Adapter, Default Hardware Device. I actually have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 in here. Renderer, we can choose between a few options here. OpenGL 3D11, which is DirectX 11 or DirectX 9. I'm going to go to DirectX 11. You may need to experiment if you're running into some lag while trying to play a game. Internal resolution. For me, I go to about 2. My system will handle it. You can try to go lower or higher if you'd like. Enable hardware hacks. Now the only reason I'm doing this is because my NVIDIA GPU does leave lines in the games. We're going to get rid of those. Enable hardware hacks checked. Configure Hacks, and Align Sprite. 
This will take the lines out of the screen. We're going to align the sprite so it looks proper on the screen we're using. Click OK and OK. So that's basic setup. You may need to search online how to get this running perfectly on your hardware, but for me, I have an i7 with that GTX 1060 and it works great. I also have another PC with an i3-4170 and a GTX 950, and it works the same. We're done setting up the PlayStation 2 emulator. We're gonna close it down. We're gonna back up. We wanna copy this whole folder and place it in our LaunchBox directory. So I'm just gonna right click. I'm actually gonna cut it. Back up and find my LaunchBox directory. Yours will probably be located on your C drive, users, whatever your username is, LaunchBox. I put mine on a separate drive because my build's getting really big. Double click, find emulators, and we wanna paste it right in here. Now it'll be portable if we ever wanna move our LaunchBox build. We're gonna back up one in our LaunchBox directory and find our games. From here, we need to place our PlayStation 2 games inside of this directory. I'm gonna snap this over to the side. I'll find my games. They were on my desktop. And I'm just gonna place this whole folder with the games I'm gonna be testing here inside of my LaunchBox directory under games. All right, so now we have everything in place. We have our PlayStation 2 games in our LaunchBox directory under games our PC SX2 emulator under emulators with our BIOS folder created and our BIOS is inside of it. We're gonna move back to LaunchBox and finish setting the emulator up. From here, we're gonna browse and we're gonna find exactly where we just put that PC SX2 emulator. We're gonna find the application, the EXE. Double click, associated platforms, this should already be filled out for us, and auto hotkey scripts should also be filled out for us. We're going to click OK and close. Now it's time to import our games. We're actually almost done here. We're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. From here, we'll click Next. This is the Import Wizard. I'm going to add that full PlayStation 2 folder that I just placed in my LaunchBox directory under games, Sony PlayStation 2. Click OK. LaunchBox will go through this folder and find each game inside of here for us. Click Next. Platform for imported games from the drop down menu. Choose Sony PlayStation 2. Next. Choose an emulator. PC SX2 should be chosen. If it's not, use the drop down menu and choose it. Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes, I would. I leave both of these checked. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Of course we would. Next. If this is your first time importing anything in the launch box, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is free to use, but they do have a donation option, which will allow you to download more music, videos, and box art per day. It's definitely worth it. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for our PC SX2 emulator. We'll click Next here. And here are the games I'm gonna be importing. The name of the game, the location, and the extension. These are ISO. Click Finish. You get a progress bar at the bottom. LaunchBox will now import the games. Six games were imported successfully. Click OK. Over in the left hand column, you should now see a Sony PlayStation 2 option. We're going to open this up. And as you can see, I have all of my games here. Now we're actually ready to start playing. I'll just go ahead and start Tekken 5. Double click, or if you have controller automation, you can start it up with your controller. I do have Fraps running in the background so you can see the FPS listed in the top left hand corner. These are the PAL version of these games so they'll only run at 50 FPS. If you're using the NTSC version, they should run at 63. Get 
ready for the next battle. Go easy on me. Kill me. Round one. Fight. And there you have it. it. Runs great. You can press escape on your keyboard, or if you have controller automation set up, you can use your hotkeys to exit this emulator. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Like I mentioned, you may need to mess with the PCSX2 emulator settings to get the games running correctly on your system. There is tons of information out there. This video was basic setup and how to import them into LaunchBox. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. And like always, thanks for watching.